Well, we started the project back in 2003 when we were aware that, that we had lots of problems with young people in the village not really having enough to do. Um, there was quite a lot of antisocial behaviour. And at that time, people's perception of young people was very poor. So I set up a charity called Forward Gambling Gay with two parish councillors. And the aim was to try and give young people opportunities to be pe perceived positively by the community. And from that beginning, uh, became a realisation that actually there was lots of things that could be happening in Gambling Gay if there was the proper facilities for them to happen in. <laughs> Because it's a multifunction building, it's got spaces for all sorts of things. So from art groups and things like that that happen during the day, which will be for the benefit of the people, through to sports facilities, which benefit another community within there, but also as a general meeting space. One of the things we're very keen on is to try and keep the doors open and so that people can come in, just meet, have a cup of coffee and have a chat and so on. We've got the library, which is a high interaction point as well. So we think... By and large, there's something for everybody in the building, and everybody in the village will need to use the building at some point. If nothing else, the parish council office is here as well. So we see ourselves as multifunction with a lot of interaction points with, for people. <laughs> Well, of course, it's an exciting project, not only because, as you can see behind me, here's a wonderful new building. People locally will certainly remember the, the old community centre. Like you can sort of see the skeleton of the old building inside, but actually it's, uh, it's brand new, it's been expanded, it's got wonderful new facilities for clubs, for, for organisations, for um, a nursery, and, of course, for young people. And, you uh, know, it, just in its early days, lots of young people have been coming here and enjoying these new facilities. But I think what is also really exciting is the way in which it really wanted to embrace the latest environmentally friendly technologies. So whether it's uh, ground source heat systems, whether it's photovoltaic cells and solar thermal panels, uh, it's a real opportunity to have a very environmentally friendly building too. Well, it's a, it's a, a dark green building in the sense that it's highly sustainable. But it's not just the micro-generation technologies on the roof which use the sun to power and heat the building. It's the fabric of the building as well. It's wrapped up in a very thick layer of insulation. There's a very clever um, manifold in the plant room which stores heat at different temperatures and can take heat from wherever it's generated around the building. We have pipes under the football pitch collecting heat from the ground. We have photovoltaic panels on the roof collecting um, electricity energy from the sun and turning that into electricity we also have solar water heaters on the lower level roof which is rather like a radiator but in reverse collecting heat and taking that into the building to supply hot water for showers um, but the the oscar unit in the plant room takes that heat from wherever it's generated and can supply it to wherever else it's needed in the building both for uh, space heating and hot water well, what we think we've ended up with is cert certainly one of the greenest community buildings in the region, if not in the country. Um, it's green because it's got three renewable technologies in it. It generates all its own electricity, all its own heat. It recycles rainwater. The building's very well insulated, so any heat that goes into it stays in it, and it uses natural light and natural ventilation. The reason for this was that by making it probably the most or the greenest community building in the region if not the country um, it was attractive to the funders there were uh, funding streams available at the time for putting renewable energy into buildings and also eco means economical so that it the building was economical to build and it's going to be very very economical to run and therefore hopefully not be a burden on the community community involvement has been absolutely central to this entire project and that's very unusual for the way in which buildings like this are often procured. The involvement of local people has been absolutely extraordinary in this case and the design has been worked out directly with those people. In fact they have led the development of the design for this building um, from their own experiences and from their position as lay people. I think the residents will benefit hugely. Uh, one, because of where it's positioned right next to the park. This is sort of the hub of the village really. Um, the hall is a fantastic building, very eco-friendly lots of lots of spaces so you don't just hire out one hall lots of users can use it at one time um, the football association will use it the changing rooms are, are probably about the best changing rooms you could hope for um, and it's a place where you can meet your friends grab a coffee grab a library book and meet up I, mean, I can tell you honestly we've had hundreds of people come and look around and they all use the same word over and over and over again wow <laughs>